Hey guys, Sophie Dalla here. We are going to uh, get ready together. And I'm going to show you what I do if, on an everyday sort of basis. Um, I've just gone for a hike. I took my dog for a little hike and I've showered and I've uh, I actually slept with an oil serum in my hair that I made from uh, coconut oil, almond oil, macadamia oil, castor oil, and a bunch of other cool stuff. I slept in it and now I've washed my hair and it feels amazing. I'm actually just gonna add um, a little pump of this Orbe. Uh, it's called Gold Lust. I have to tell you, it's pretty exceptional stuff. It, it really. My hair feels so good every time I use it. All right, we're gonna start on the face. Uh, I usually start with like some sort of mist. Um, I really like this one, Aftergen Soothe and Hydrate by Youth for the People. It's, uh, it's yeah, it's got high hyaluronic acid in it. They say that's good for you, so we're gonna breathe in. Okay, it just makes you feel fresh. Fresh and fantastic, how I like to begin my day. Um, Okay, uh, so once that sort of seeps in the skin a little bit, I actually, I'm actually gonna uh, do a little bit of a cleanse with uh, this Mer Merinone uh, cleanser. It's honestly my favorite product that I have because for I never used to think cleanser was important, but this one just makes your face look the most dewy. It's crazy. Give it a little shake. Just put a tiny bit on your palm. Get some water, maybe warm water. Yeah, we're warm. Give your face a little wipe. Okay, I mean, look, you can't even really see that much because of the camera, but I tell, I'm telling you, my face looks very hydrated. That's Mernon. You guys should get some. Uh, okay, so after I cleanse, I typically use a serum. Right now I'm using this Gold Fadden, uh, it's called Gold Fadden Brightening Elixir. I find it that it's very light and uh, it's, it just makes my skin feel nice and protected from all of the layers I'm about to put on it. I'm joking. I don't really have too much today to do today. I have a couple meetings, so I'm not gonna wear that much makeup. Just, just something to give me a little pop, a little more life, you know? So let's rub down, get the neck. Let it seep in. Okay, next we're gonna use this Drunk Elephant uh, Sea Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream. Do I need too much of it? That's nice. Two fingers under the eye. And just one over. You don't really need to go too crazy with rubbing it in under your eye. It's a very delicate area. So just dab. to absorb. Okay, we're gonna uh, actually go ahead and add our uh, Aptogen Deep Moisture Cream. You don't need too much of this, it's quite thick. Um, again, I had a shoot yesterday, so my skin feels a little dry, um, but I'm still not gonna add too much. I've already got so much serum and stuff on. It's also that time of the year where everything's just dry, like my hair is dry and just everything needs help. So I typically add an SPF as well on at this point but seeing as i have a bunch of zoom meetings and auditions that i have to prepare for and lines i have to work on i don't think i'll be leaving my house after this <laughs> uh yeah i've already done my hike i've done my dash of the outdoors quarantine you know okay so make sure that's all rubbed in fantastic Okie dokie. Now, I think what we're gonna do next is, uh, let that seep. Again, I just, I'm stalling because I, I need to let this steep before I go on to my next thing, which is gonna be some Glossier concealer. I love this concealer. Um, it just feels light and I, I don't really like the look of, I mean, I like the look, I, I like to have my foundation be very light. And this feels light. I use this as foundation. I, I put a bit here. And then put a bit under the eye. 
I have this like red um, freckle. I don't usually cover it up, it kind of just comes out, but uh, I'm gonna cover it up today, I guess, because I already did. So we're just gonna gently, I should use a brush for this, but I never have used a brush for my concealer. I don't know why, I just prefer to use my fingers. I don't really want to cover up my freckles, so I, I left that area. Any of the redness around here, though, I just sort of spread it around. Checking in with my mirror, <laughs> but we're good. It's all rubbed in. All right. Okie dokie. Um, oh, a more recent thing that I've been doing. It's uh, it's actually a bronzer from this brand Yensa. I love it. Um, it was sent to me, and I have to tell you, I'm a huge fan. Uh, because uh, I use all of the all of my makeup. I don't use any powders, so a lot of bronzers are powders. Oops. Um, this just sort of you. I'll show you. It's a cream base. You get your brush, you swirl it around a little bit, and it you just helps with your cheekbones. Look at that, and it's so natural. Look at that lift. I think it's supposed to start from there, but I always just bring it up. Yeah, I absolutely love this. It just, you know, because when I use powder on top of all of the, the serums and whatnot, I find that it's, I mean, I could be doing it wrong, but I find it sticks to my skin a little bit. The jawline. Um, it's also very light. It doesn't feel, I still feel like I'm in my natural skin. I don't like walking around knowing that my I've painted on my face, so this while doing a lot also doesn't feel like you're doing too much. Okay. I mean I think that that makes the world of the difference. Oh, now we're gonna add a little bit of highlighter. I uh I like highlighter, it's very, very subtle, but it does something for me. I use a little bit um here under my eyebrow. This is Hourglass, by the way. Here, right here. And that's pretty much where I go, but over on my upper lip. Blend that in. All right, so I'm already feeling very fresh now with what I've done, but I'm gonna do a few little things to, to just bring out my features a little more. I don't have that much eyebrow, so I, I tend to fill those in a bit. Um, I have this, this product that I use. I always exaggerate it and then I take some more, I take some off. So clearly that's too much. So what I do is I use my fingers and I just go like this. I'll get a little bit more here. Do that in a bit and then again I'll do the same thing. All right. Go test it. Now we're going to, I usually use like sort of like a, this is Clinique, it's, it's good because it's actually a little bit hydrating, so it's moisturizing. Uh, so it adds a bit of color, I'll show you. I tend to go with like a, a little bit of a rouging look. Um, and then I'm gonna do a bit on my cheeks as well. Not too much, just a subtle amount. I don't know if you're supposed to use this on your cheeks, but I have to tell you, I think. Everything that I've shown you is really subtle. Like you could look and think maybe I'm not wearing makeup even. To, I mean, I don't know about that, but kind of. Um, it's super subtle, but when you layer everything up like I have, it just makes your features pop a lot. 
you know, your natural features part. So that's my no makeup makeup look kind of done. You could add mascara as well, of course. I'm not going to because I get um, I get funny about my eyelashes. But I am gonna add, this is my favorite smell in the whole world. I've been wearing this forever. It's Serge Luton's Jodipur. Oh, oops. So just, yeah, and two sprays. Oh, and uh, I'm gonna brush my hair one more time because it's drying. So I like to brush it while it's drying. You gotta be gentle with it because your hair breaks easily when it's, but with this Tangle Teaser, just it won't break, I swear. My hair feels very soft from the mask I've done. I recommend you all try it. And this is my no makeup makeup look that I wear pretty much every day. Um, like and subscribe to Jamo because they have heaps of cool, fun videos just like this. And I am Sophie Dollar and I'm checking out and I'm about to start my day. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.